you should be home remedies, things that we need to have in our house at all times, no matter what we need to have. Like I always keep golden seal and mm -hmm. echinacea yes. in my house. Uh, there's just certain things that I just have to have right. in my home. Mm -hmm. What would you recommend some of the herbs that you have? Because you have so many, and certainly I don't have enough space in my home for all of these, but what, what are your basic herbs that you feel that everyone should have in their kitchen? In their medicine cabinet? Mm -hmm. Well, golden seal is one that I certainly keep in my medicine cabinet because it, it is good in case you have an infection. Also, the um, organ grape root, um, which is not here, we, mm -hmm. Oregon grape okay, so this is another um, form for antibiotic if, in case you have a cold or even a toothache or something that's going on. Um, the other one that I keep in that I, that I like quite a bit is slippery elm. And I think because a lot of people have stomach aches or they have something going on with their digestive tract, so the slippery elm is very soothing. I think you hear that a lot of singers sometimes when they have a sore throat they're told to go and get a slippery elm lozenger. Mm -hmm. The slippery elm coats that whole digestive tract so wow. it's a great one to have in your medicine cabinet. Oh let's see here I'm trying to think. Um, well it, but but that's that's kind of and we could come down here and we can just get maybe an ounce or half an ounce or a quarter Certainly. of an ounce Certainly. And, and keep it in. You would tell us how to use it, right? We have a group of herbalists that work out of this apothecary and most of them are students from uh, Suiha and they're all experienced in um, telling, what, telling you what you need. Also we have naturopathic doctors that work here so if ever we have a question and there's something that we don't know, we always refer to our naturopathic doctors here. And that's another thing I wanted to talk to you about, because you do colonics. I do. What are the benefits of colonics? I remember when we were kids, my mother used to give us enemas. Hated them, mm -hmm. but it was part of our regime. I know. So what? why a colonics? Because that's kind of like a high-powered enema. As a matter of fact, that's exactly what it is. Well, because a colonics is, a lot of illness begins in the colon, and that's exactly where it begins. A lot of people, um, with all the stress that we have nowadays, people are constipated, or most of them are. And so a colonics is, um, people have a lot of food allergies, and what the colonics does is you've got 30 feet of intestines from your, um, starting with your mouth and going all the way down. Uh, there's 30, 30 feet. The colonics cleans out five feet of your colon. Mm -hmm. And so it is like a high enema. And this is the medicine, or these are the modalities that they used to do back in the day, um, you know, before. Mm, well, they used to do this in the 50s and 60s, in the 70s, and I think that this is an old forgotten art, mm -hmm. and it kind of went away in the 70s, and so a lot of us are trying to bring it back into, um, into medicine. Into, we work with a lot of naturopathic doctors doing high enemas or colonics. Yeah, and that's, that's really good. Now, you also have biofeedback here. We do. And what is, what is biofeedback? Now, that's one thing I've, I've never done. I mean, I've had the col colonics, of course, and mm -hmm. I've also always worked with naturopaths, but what bio is the biofeedback? Is, it goes through your body kind of like a computer scan. We put a harness on your forehead, your wrist, and your ankles. And there's a computer that's there, and what it does is it goes through and it scans your body for all the stressors that are in your body. And so, um, you know, it can tell if there's something going on with your lungs, it'll, it'll tell me that there's something going on with your lungs. It tells all of your, your top allergies. It's kind of like following a, a, a thread in a, in a haystack, and we follow that thread to try and get to the root of the problem. So, so I do work with a lot of naturopathic doctors because it comes up with really good homeopathic remedies. And so you sit side by side, you can see everything that I see on the screen, and I try to explain what, to you what I'm seeing. It's such a smart um, device that it can even tell you if you're dehydrated. Hmm. So you also are going to be having an organic juice bar here. We are. And there's so a, 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 a woman here that works with you mm -hmm. who is, I call, the earth doctor. She is. She is the juju woman. Yeah, she is. And it's is. always good to have a juju woman yeah. in your presence. Well, this woman, Lynette, and she's from Barbados. She is. Uh, and you can come here and you can get some, as, as a matter of fact, every time I come. She makes a juice for me, and it just, it's just Lynette incredible. Lynette is like, she brings a whole different realm to the herbs because she's bringing her herbs from Barbados. Her mother was an, a, a midwife, and so Lynette has learned from her mother. Mm -hmm. But Lynette is probably the perfect person to do the juice bar because um, we do have a lot of um, people that come in that have cancer, and a lot of times they have to juice. And so Lynette is doing wonderful um, green drinks for them. She's doing alkalizing drinks, and she'll be doing, you know, just a typical well, liver and, cleanse and she drink. Is a re she has a a remarkable mind. I mean, yeah. she is a healer. She's a natural healer. She is, I mean, yeah. you're a healer as well, but mm -hmm. she's a healer. And I'm going to ask uh, us to turn the turn the camera on Lynette. Let's see Lynette right there. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Say hi, Lynette. <laughs> so that's who you get to meet. Lynette and Melissa is over here as well. You get to meet Melissa mm -hmm. when you come down here because there's and you have other things, um, healing things. I mean, you have the crystals down here. You have some of the stones, and I know there are very healing stones. And, uh, and so many other things that you have. We try to do a lot of things to help a person on all different levels. So we do a form of music therapy, we do um, color therapy, we, we do infrared sauna, the colonics, um, acupuncture, reflexology, there's just a lot. We try to help people on all different levels. Oh, okay, well we're gonna take a break. All right. And when we come back, we'll get a little bit more information and insight on the Phoenix uh, Natural Medicine and Detox Center and talking with Gail Palms, the owner. But come right back because we have something for you. Are you seeing this Powerball jackpot? It's a good day to be a jackpot chaser, my friends. Oh, man, I'm so jealous of whoever wins this thing. Jackpot chasers. What would you do if you had to choose between the buffalo and the giraffes? Between a flower or an elephant, what would you choose? What if you had to decide between a hundred-year-old tree and a million-year-old beach? Between drinking clean water or breathing clean air, would you make the right choice? Would there be a right choice? Now there's a way to help, not just one, but all these things. Earthshare, the world's leading environmental groups working together. It's one choice we can all live with. Ask your employer about workplace giving. Welcome back, I'm Fatima Halim and I'm at the Apothecary over on 3rd Avenue in Roosevelt and I'm talking to the owner, uh, which is Gail Palms. And Gail is also the owner of the whole center, which is the Phoenix Natural Medicine and Detox Center. Welcome back. Okay. And we're here in, in the apothecary with all these incredible herbs. Now, you need to be forewarned that you just don't want to just arbitrarily just take a herb because that's what you think you want to do. You do need to have some information. And fortunately, you do have herbalists here to tell what we can, what we cannot do. Because, for example, we were just talking about the grape root. And you were saying that the grape root is, is much more gentle on the system, on the, on the system than a golden seal. It is much gentler than the golden seal because the golden seal sometimes can, um, because it's help making your liver dump a lot of bile, it can cramp a little bit, kind of like a diarrhea. And this is a little bit gentler than the golden seal. So as well as sinner, because some oh. people are now taking sinner as a laxative. And yeah. then and just any laxative you don't need to be taking too often or too much. But no. You want to try and get to the root of the problem, and that's why clonics is, is good. Mm -hmm. So if a person comes in and they're taking sinner for more than three weeks, I usually advise them not to. Because sinner can it can cramp you as well and it can discolor your colon, mm -hmm. so it's better to get kind of to the root. Ginger is really good for the colon, and people don't realize how good ginger is. So when you ask me about the medicine cabinet, ginger is probably one of the things that I would put in the medicine cabinet, as well as cayenne pepper, because I know that a lot of times a person if they're um, if they faint or they pass out, sometimes you can put a little bit of cayenne pepper. This is harsh, but you can put a little bit under their tongue or it'll bring them back quickly because it, it gives them that circulation. So. Now, I know in the morning what I'll do is I'll take some um, water, some cayenne pepper, mm. and some lemon, some exactly. fresh lemon juice, and I'll just drink it, and very, it's just a wonderful cleanser. Very detoxing. Yeah, it's very a, a wonderful 